Hi, my name is Susan Karcheski and I'm the owner of Perfectly Unique Design Studio and Boutique in Pearson, Indiana. And I'm going to be teaching a video tutorial jewelry series on how to make inexpensive but elegant jewelry out of hardware store parts. And this is our first tutorial lesson and it will be on making a steampunk pendant. So let's get started. For this project you will need a hammer and all, a pair of needle nose pliers, a pair of bent nose pliers, a pair of wire cutters, a pair of crimping pliers, glue, I use E6000, a glass pebble, an 8 millimeter jump ring, a Q-tip or a fine brush, a 3 quarter inch knockout seal, and a half inch knockout seal, these are from the hardware store, alcohol ink, and a wood block. Today we're going to be making this steampunk pendant. It's in the shape of a sunflower and we're going to be using parts from the hardware store. We're going to begin by taking a half inch knockout seal. Take that out and we're going to use that for the bezel around a glass pebble. So we can take that now and move that and get, bring out our three quarter inch knockout seal. You can get this at most any hardware store and they're very inexpensive. Under a dollar most of these items are. So we'll take out our three quarter inch knockout seal and we're going to use the half inch for the bezel and the three quarter inch for the base around the bezel. And This is a very easy project. First of all, we can start by putting our pebble here into the bezel, but we're going to have to open these up a little bit. So here I'll take my regular needle nose pliers and just open these up slightly. Open up a slight bit so we can get our pebble in. I'm going to put it into here and it looks like that. And a bezel is anything that goes around a stone to encase it. In jewelry world it's called a bezel. So now we're going to take our bent nose pliers and what I do now is actually fold these down on top of the stone. And it won't get all the way down. We're going to use another tool to completely put that stone in. So we're using our bent nose pliers just to get it down on top of the stone. So go all the way around. Okay, I'm going to put these pliers down. And now I'm going to take my crimping pliers and this will complete it. If you push that on the top, it gets a nice little covering over the glass pebble. So we're going to use our crimping pliers to complete this. There's no gluing involved at this point. You're actually setting the stone inside of this. There we go. And so that should be nice and tight now. Turn it upside down. It doesn't drop out. You know you've got your stone in well. So, so we use two pliers for that. Now that is called our bezel. We're going to be putting that in the three quarter inch knockout seal. To do that base here we're going to open these completely open. So we will take our pliers again, our regular needle nose pliers, and we're going to open up these all the way and then flatten them out. So you're going to open it and then I turn my pliers this way to flatten that flat. So it's like two moves with the pliers. First you're going to get it up straight and then you take your needle nose pliers and flatten it by putting it over the front and the back of the knockout seal. Again we lift one up to the top and then we turn it and we go sideways here and completely flatten that out. We're almost done. It's not very hard. 
flatten that and lift it up flatten it we have two more to go lift it up turn it flatten it so you can see I'm holding the pliers horizontal for that flattening stage so now we have a nice little sunflower shape so we're going to take our glue, our E6000 glue. We're going to put a little bit in here. And then we're going to cap that. And we're going to actually set this bezel inside the glue. And let that sit. And there we go. Um, for the painting part, I used on this sunflower in this one here a Ranger alcohol ink in rust color. You can use any color for the uh, petals that you'd like, but it is an alcohol ink. It stays on very well. What you do when you get home, if you want to do that, you can use a Q-tip or a paintbrush to gently dab it onto the petals. And I only used one coat on this. You can do two coats. I did one coat of the ink. That can be done at, at a later time. So now I'm going to put a hole into the petal so that I could put a jump ring in to make our bale. To do that, you'll have to use a wood block Right here, I'm going to bring in my piece of wood, put the sunflower piece on there, and we're going to take an awl, and we're going to find, it doesn't matter where your center is, if you like a particular place on here that lines up good with the bezel. So I'm going to use this as my top point here. I like it directly over that little prong there. I'm going to make a hole, put my awl here, bring my hammer in. And you use wood. When you're making a hole with metal, you need a wood base, not metal. You'll always use wood. Now we've made our hole, and we're going to take our jump ring and our pliers, open the jump ring, and we're going to put the jump ring in the hole. Close the jump ring, and we have a beautiful flower pendant made from hardware store parts. And I was going to show you some other examples that I've made using the same parts. These are two examples of other jewelry pieces that I made from hardware store parts, an altered art pendant, and a dried flower bracelet. These will both be on my upcoming DVD on hardware store jewelry designing that you can find on jewelrylessonvideos.com. So go check it out. Thank you for watching my jewelry video tutorial. This series will soon be available on DVD. And if you missed my last jewelry series on wire wrapping, the DVD Wire Wrapping Jewelry, a complete video guide, is now available on DVD at www.jewelrylessonvideos.com.